You know, all of our lives we spend chasing an idea of ourselves that is of the mind system, pre-designed, unified field, and that because we can't see it and don't know it's there, we spend our lives chasing an idea of ourselves that fits into and as this design. It's not real. It's not us. So we must stop. Stop participating in thoughts and in feelings and emotions and reactions. Quit feeding the mind systems and apply self-forgiveness. Say it out loud so you can hear who you are. Everything and anything you should ever know about yourself is within yourself. And only you, only you have the answers to yourself. Every night, for yourself, take five minutes for yourself and write out the thoughts and the feelings and emotions that you had during the day that you can remember. Observe your thoughts and, and your feelings and emotions and reactions during the day. Just observe yourself. So then at night you can take five minutes, just five minutes for yourself and write these down. This will show you your self-forgiveness points and, and when applied, when, when self-forgiveness is applied effectively, this brings instant release from within the sucking systems that within the, within the sucking systems, the systems that are sucking you drive life. I've been in this process for two years, and I continue moment by moment in breath. Through the process of self-forgiveness and self-honesty, I am understanding and experiencing what it really is to be in breath. I've attempted to describe this experience, and it's just not possible to put this into words. These are new experiences of myself that I've begun to experience within and as breath. And there, it's, it's, it's an unspeakable silence, peace within me. It's... You know, through self-forgiveness, I'm no longer. Through the self-forgiveness process that I have been working for two years, I am no longer addicted to medication. And I no longer take medication of any kind. Occasionally, something for allergies, which is, again, allergies are suppression too. But I, the medicine can act as a bridge to, to assist you through this process. But I'm no longer addicted to gambling, and I, I can tell you, I was very much so addicted to gambling. Hell, I've been addicted to love, to gambling, addiction. That was my thing, apparently, and I no longer believe in addiction. I no longer have uncontrollable eating habits. My appetite is like it's balanced itself. And recently, I inadvertently chose to sleep only when my physical body told me to rest. And you know, you know when your body is saying it's time to rest and I chose not to listen to my mind when my mind was saying it's time for bed you have to go to bed now you have to have rest I didn't listen and I pushed through I, I, I just stayed in breath and I pushed through and when I would get those moments where it seemed as though the system was just dragging or as this, my mind was just dragging me into the sleepiness I would, re I would remain in, focused on and in my breath and when in breath no sleepiness consider when you sleep that your mind reboots you know like a computer and really a person really only I have realized uh, I shall speak for just myself only really requires four to six hours of sleep and I inadvertently, I didn't plan on it, but I kept, I, it, it began on its own and I stayed up making videos and was, self, was assisting myself with self-forgiveness and, and I, I just happened to stay up and I, I realized some things as I didn't get any sleep and so I kept doing it and I kept pushing myself and I would not allow myself to go to sleep because I was sleepy. I went to sleep 
because my body was requir requiring rest. And my husband um, helped keep track of, of the hours because I just lost track of time. I didn't really know what day was from the next and I didn't really care. And, and yes, I'm grateful that I have been able to be home and to be able to do this. And I would challenge anyone to, to test yourself, push yourself. But we've um, figured out that out of 240 hours, I slept 33 of those. And sometimes I was up for 48 hours or more. And I was in breath and I was alert and I was clear. I had clarity. And I only rested when my body required it. And I still am doing that. Um, my husband and my daughter have been witnesses to this, to what I'm speaking of. But what I've found is the less sleep I get, the, again, I'm more, it, there's more clarity. My mind's quieter. Depression, just gone. I have n relatively no anxiety. I have relatively less fears, um, less reactions to emotions. Less, um, I, I seem to have less suppressed feelings like pressure compressed feelings. Um, towards myself. It's less suppressed feelings towards myself and, and my response to life. My blood pressure is lower. My blood pressure has been immensely lower. The less sleep I get, um, my blood pressure has been like 118 over 60 and it normally has always ranged in the, you know, 130s over 85 to 90. Um, it's just amazing um, what's happened with my blood pressure. My, my complexion's better. <laughs> my hair is becoming thicker and, and healthier. And actually, um, the lady who does my, had cut my hair told me, to, just today actually, um, if I didn't know better, she'd say, I'd say your hair is getting thicker. And I had to laugh and say, well, I'm applying self-forgiveness and working on reversing the age process, ha ha. Who knows? I just have an overall balanced feeling of, or balanced sense of well-being. And you know, I really could, I could go on and I could continue to tell you what I've been experiencing and, and what this lack of sleep has, has done. And literally, two, out of 240 hours, I've had I had 33 hours of sleep during that time. My husband said I walked faster than I ever had in the 17 years that he's known me. But even as I'm sharing this with with you, you probably don't believe me. Even if you do believe in a God in the sky that's coming to save you or to save me or us, so you should test this for yourself. You know, at 50, I'm experiencing life as I have never ever experienced my life and this experience is coming from within me not from anything from outside of, of, of myself I mean take a look at what aging brings when I see older people I don't I don't see life I see a tired you know dragged down human human just attempting at existing through another day look at look into people's eyes do you see life or do you see someone who has accepted and allowed themselves to be and become what the mind system has pre-designed them to be? And, and so again, the aging process occurs and death, death is certain. I'll continue this in um, a third video. I didn't know it would go this far and I hope you're enjoying my avatar. Um, I'm also applying self-forgiveness for the uh, uncomfortableness of making a video as this. So I forgive myself for accepting and allowing myself to not see myself as who I really am. To be continued. <laughs>